So breaking crypto news, obviously crypto is down. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what's coming next. There is definitely some things in play. We have the banking crisis that quite frankly is going to most likely spend a lot of money into crypto. People are going to you know, run to crypto. That's number one. Number two, we're going to talk about the fact that Bitcoin and when this happens, we'll lift the entire crypto market. We could see Bitcoin going to 63,000 in the very, very near future. OK, so with that said, we're going to now take a look at the charts and what's going on. But I uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. This is some great things that are coming uh, very, very soon to crypto. So we see right here, obviously, that, you know, that crypto is down about three percent. Right. The overall market capitalization is down three point three percent. You got Bitcoin falling down to twenty eight eight. And in fact, it's been as low as 28468 uh, right there. And if we take a look at Ethereum, it's kind of similarly uh, doing that, right? It's been as low as 1870. So it's 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 close to its 24-hour low scenario. Okay, so remember I mentioned the banking crisis, right? We've got, um, you know, the First Republic scenario going. We've got PacWest. So we've definitely got banks that are starting to go down the proverbial tubes. And, and I think there's more of those coming. And you got a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt around that. And, and what happens is that people tend to, uh, you know, run to crypto, if you will. And so we've seen that now a couple of times in the last couple of months. I think we're going to see more of that as this banking situation continues to unfold, which, quite frankly, is going to help raise all of crypto. Remember, I focused on Bitcoin and Ethereum in the first part of this video. But the fact of the matter is, is that we've, we're seeing a tremendous surge um, You know, that when this this banking scenario kind of hits Main Street, hits headlines and things of that nature. OK, so now to shift to the final part of what I wanted to talk to you about, the fact that Bitcoin is eyeing the next major breakout of 63,000, that is, you heard me correctly. And right now, remember, we are sitting at 28.8. OK, so basically to summarize uh, this particular piece of content, content, excuse me, um, it's talking about Bollinger Bands and it's talking about the fact that, um, you know, the, the, the way that. Um, Bitcoin's trading inside of the Bollinger Band scenario. Um, it's looking like the next major breakout level is 63,500. It's done this historically. Okay. We've seen it done. In fact, you can see it right here. So this chart is really amazing if you look at it, where we had, you know, we had the Bollinger Bands rolling along. That's the blue lines you see. And you can see right back in 2015, we had one right here, a breakout. First target was, um, what would that be? Uh, $658. Think of that. What would you have done if you could have bought Bitcoin at $658? And look at the roll up, roll up, roll up. You get your, you get your usual progression uh, pullback right there, break out above the, above the Bollinger Band. And then uh, first target moves up to um, that was 14,000. And that was back in 2019. And it's just continuing to do the same thing. So it's rolling back up. And right here is where it's currently at. You see it. It's at, um, you know, right here in this current level. And the next major breakout level is the first target is 63,000. So I think that this is really what I want to kind of end, end on as far as this note, end on the fact that time frame wise, it's probably, you know, it's going to take six months more to a year to do this. But that's fine. If you think of it, if you think of it in the context of it gives you opportunity to get in, it gives you opportunity to, position yourself uh, and you look at that historical chart that I showed you, it is just all the data is there. It's historic. It's based in historical fact. And that's really what I want to leave you with is that at the end of the day, regardless of what's going on kind of in the political landscape and the, in the, you know, um, uh, with all of the uh, uncertainty and doubt going on right now around, uh, you know, all of the kind of the, the turbulent financial times, you, you still have Bitcoin leading the way. And by the way, if you don't even own Bitcoin, it doesn't matter. Bitcoin drives everything else. When Bitcoin goes to 63,000, it's going to raise the rest of the entire crypto market along with it. Ethereum, all the major blue chips, everything's going to go with it. That's what you need to understand and need to focus on. It says, at the end of the day, great things are coming soon. It's a matter of time. That's fine. Okay. That's what I got for you. Thank you for your support. I'll see you.